on our cruddy looking old Infowars site. Eight years ago, uh, Nemo updated it, made it look great. Now it's an old design. We are very close to new designs. We tried a bunch. We're coming out with a good one the next week. So get ready. It's The site looks not too good today because it's eight years old. Looked great eight years ago. We're about to update it. That's another side issue. PrisonPlanet.tv looks updated and modern. PrisonPlanet.com looks more modern. Side issue. I'm just talking about what we're doing. So here's my assignment to watch into the reporters, to the other great reporters. We all need from different angles. And the next issue of the magazine needs to be about this. You know, the, the death of the, of the free Internet is here. Fight for the Internet or it's dead. The next magazine needs to be on this. Um, not the one coming out this week, but um, in a few days that the truck's about to deliver and the digital version as well, but, but, but next month's <sighs> needs to be, not the May issue, but the June issue needs to be on, do you want to keep the internet free or do you want to pay taxes and be more surveilled and have the public NSAification of the internet happen? And the way they're going to do it is claiming internet security after the NSA released the encryption keys three weeks ago to the internet with Heartbleed. It had been out for two years, but they announced the codes and where you could get them three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And this is all a setup, and it's now come out in publications, in CNET, that, oh, the government knew about Heartbleed, let it happen. They didn't know they did it. And they did Stuxnet, and I told you that first. And they, it's caught the FBI runs most of the worms and most of the takedowns and most of the back doors that the criminals also exploit so they can later just blame the criminals. So the whole thing's compromised. They're getting ready to shut down and cyber attack the old Internet and only let their new Internet operate. <clears throat> and then when it comes back up, after a few months, you won't remember InfoWars, or most people won't. In fact, InfoWars will get bigger out of this. Because we're kind of last man standing. Any attempt to shut us down will only make us explode like a beach ball 50 feet under the water when it goes to the surface. But all the medium sites, the small sites, the big giant floods of activism that you see, that's going to be shut down. We're going to skip this network break. This is so important. That I'll spend, you know, $3,000 to skip, $4,000 to skip this break. I, I, I don't care. We're doing it. We're going to Watson. Here's how they're going to do it. A part of a constellation of attacks. They're putting in NSA fiber and Google fiber everywhere that's hooked into police snooper boxes that grab all your data out of the air. And we put that article up on Infowars.com. We broke it months ago with secret documents out of Washington State given to us from inside the city that was illegal. It turned out the police were doing illegal stuff, grabbing everybody's data without warrants, and they shut it off. They claimed. But it was part of a federal plan. That ties into this. White House wants Chinese-style ID system for Internet users. They announced that two days ago in the National Strategy for Trusted Identities in Cyberspace. Who's going to administer it publicly? Because the NSA and Northcom have a bad name. U.S. FCC chief details pledge to police to Internet fast lanes. Oh, they've got to have lifetime HD video and face scanning and license reading and their own Internet that never goes down, that's built into government and university backbones. That's been the Internet 2 cover plan for 15 years since I learned of it in 1999, reading from the Internet 2 meeting that they had in a major city, I forget which one, and someone that attended it sent me the 100-and-something page booklet about, well, you can go to Internet 2's own website. It says, the Internet is dead. We're going to get rid of the Internet and force you onto the new one. We're going to tax everybody, big corporations. It's going to be like cable, pay to play. Remember I warned you of all this? Oh, it'll never happen, Alex. And now it's mainstream news that, again, Boston uh, Herald, new uh, government uh, agency to watchdog hate speech in broadcast and, and Internet uh, is, is chilling and free speech killing. And, uh, I mean, it's just going on and on. They're trying to license journalists. It's all happening, okay? It's coming. It's here. And if we don't run around and get upset about this and counter this, we already killed South Pacispa. Now they got a secret treaty that got leaked, this, this Asian Pacific Partnership, where it says that the corporations will say if you can be on the Internet or not. They're given the keys to the Internet. The keys are being given to the U.N. right now. All this is happening now. See, people say, Alex, you jump around a lot. That's because I'm smart. They train you and the psychologists and everybody say you're supposed to hold one thought in your head and be like an insect and focus on one thing at a time. 
if you just look at an article where they're telling you how great this is, you'll never know it's bad. You've got to look at the whole way they're attacking and undermining systems with Internet taxes, Internet tracking, Internet data mining, Internet control, new Internet too. So this is how they're going after it. And I need Paul Watson. We're going to your calls. I skipped the break. Dirk, Michigan Patriot, Les, Scott, Matt, Steve, Jeff, Bud, Tony, Chad. I'm going to all of you here in just a moment. I need not just Paul Watson, but you out there to make YouTube videos about this. I need you out there. Paul Watson wrote an article in 2005 that Google put out a press release to shareholders saying, we're listening to everybody's computer and have their video cameras on, watching them, and if we see a dog, we have dog food ads pop up. And then we started noticing just the last two years, they started doing it, where if you talk about dog food or talk about wanting a stand-up desk, but you're not even typing it in, within an hour, a stand-up desk pops up. And the, and the contract says they're allowed to listen to you. Do you understand the magnitude? Uh, and, and people go, there's not no people to listen. It's AI computers. Please listen to me. And people called in going, you're a kook. Even when I had the press release from Google.com. Okay, they're coming for the Internet. And by the way, that means you think they're only shipping our jobs to China, shutting down our power plants, raising taxes where you can't compete, Obamacare, all the rest of it to shut us down. You think that's anything, folks? They're going to shut off all the small businesses from the main Internet. You're going to have to pay exorbitant prices, a corporate tax to get on it, just like Obamacare cares a corporate tax. And the big globalists are going to be exempt from that. And they're being subsidized by the NSA spending more than $50 billion a year with university money and Homeland Security police grants to build the local systems under police grants and under Threat Fusion Center grants. We're talking billions per city, folks. They spent $4 billion in Boston on cameras in the last five years. It wasn't for cameras. It was for AI systems that then hook into the super fiber from Google and AT&T, which then processes it at the NSA centers, which are Google and AT&T. Remember, oh, the CIA and NSA are buying the servers at, at uh, Amazon. Oh, they're working with Google at the secret NASA base. They are the NSA. They are the corporate Borg. It is a AI takeover. It already happened. You understand that? The Internet's already self-aware. It's a neural interface with humans. It's a machine human grid with 5 billion people estimated to be online right now of 7.5 billion giving your thoughts and everything you know into the machine, uh, you literally giving your essence to it. It's already aware. It's already taking over. It is driven by the globalist interfacing it with the keys to control it. It was forged by them as a ring of total control, wedding you to the end of humanity. Do you understand the emergency transmission? Is it clear? Do you read me? I know it's fantastic. It's all public, but I told you about it before it happened. So when I tell you other stuff that isn't admitted yet, you better listen to Alex Jones. Do you understand that? I have analyzed their entire operation. They are public about it. All you got to do is believe Bill Joy. All you got to do is believe Bill Gates. All you've got to do is believe Prince Charles and John P. Holdren and Eric Holder, and Ray Kurzweil, and every single one of them, every single one of them knows the plan. They're in on it. They're taking over. And you and I don't have a place in that future. We're going to your calls, but Paul Joseph Watson, I know you're on phone. You didn't have time to get to Skype. Do you hear what I'm saying? We've got to create master articles that, that aren't even written like news. We'll link to all the proof that are emergency warnings. We need a sense of urgency, a sense of dramatic energy uh, that represents the threat we're facing. Well, what people don't realize, Alex, is that the Chinese proposed a similar program to this White House strategy for trusted identities in cyberspace back in 2007. 
It was for a centralized ID system. They were honest in 2007 in Australia. They called it the Chinese plan. Yeah, and it's basically government permission to use the internet based on your personal identity, the complete abolition of anonymity. It was rejected in communist China for being too authoritarian. Two years later, Joe Lieberman comes in and says, we need to censor the internet like China does in times of crisis, which of course means whenever they want to crush dissent when there's about to be a riot. And then shortly after that, they come in with, the, with this national strategy for trusted identities. It's basically replacing all your passwords for all the services you use on the internet with a centralized government ID, a biometric ID card. That, absolutely, for the privilege of communicating, the privilege of the new private corporate internet that we've all paid for, and then three times, just like YouTube, if, if they say you've done something wrong, no appeal, you are cut off from commerce, put in a non-electronic ghetto to literally starve and have your head clubbed in, or put in a forced labor camp. And it, it's first going to be for government services like food stamps and welfare. Then they're going to introduce it for other things. I mean, there have been academic studies recently that prove the comments below news articles have a massive impact on whether people believe the actual content of the article. So they're getting rid of the, con the comments. Getting rid of the comments. So once you've got that centralized government ID that gives you permission not only to use their services, but merely to comment on the Internet, then they can control and uh, police thought crimes that way, such as, you know, criticism of immigration policy, which we now fear could be in this new hate crime act of 2014. Well, it's all being announced, Watson, so we need to integrate it into a bullet point article and just hammer it and hammer it and hammer it and hammer it so people understand what we're facing. Do you agree with me? Exactly. There's also a, something else that ties into it, which is a video report, which I just did, Man arrested for criticizing Islam. Political leader charged with hate crime for quoting Winston Churchill. This is a mainstream political leader in Britain. Got up in public with a, a, a bullhorn, quoted Winston Churchill about Islam. Wasn't racist in any way, wasn't inciting violence. One person in the crowd complained. The police arrested him, charged him with an aggravated hate crime for quoting the British Prime Minister who supposedly defeated totalitarianism in Britain, and now they arrest him for quoting Winston Churchill. Absolutely chilling. And, and, and of course, his quote was, he was saying there's elements uh, historically of uh, Islam that are barbaric. You could say that about any group. And then every time we criticize authoritarian Islam, people comment on the side, how dare you be anti-Islam. Listen, here's the deal. Even if we were anti-Islam, which we're not, it's our free speech right but they arrested the guy that made the um, you know, little short movie about uh, the Prophet Muhammad. And it's the same deal where now they're, you know, they banned Michael Savage from England because he criticizes radical Islam. And you could take the extreme of Sterling and the Clippers you know, kicking him out of his job and his ownership. That can be extended now to using the word bossy. If Michelle Obama is offended, you, 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 get, you, you get made homeless. This is Soviet-style tyranny. Paul Watson, thank you so much. I want a maximum push on this. This FCC is the FCC takeover of the Internet to hand it over to the NSA grid, taxation control. We've got to warn everybody. We've got to make a big deal out of this. Okay, we'll get it done. And you know they're moving with that Pacific Partnership that's got the secret documents that came out. Thank you, Paul Watson. Now, I'm going to race through your calls when we come back. Dirk. Michigan Patriot, Les, right down the line. I'm going to go to you. One minute, go to the next person. I really want to go to a bunch of calls. Um, we're going to be taking your phone calls. <clears throat> Briefly before we go to break, because I just skipped the break, we need your support spreading the word about this broadcast. That's number one, because the number one missions get the word out. Number two is fund the reporters, the camera people, the bandwidth, the equipment, the building, and the new projects. We, we sell the best products at the lowest prices, whether they be dash cams, high-quality water filters, incredible supplements, incredible pro-liberty T-shirts to spread the word, meet like-minded people, shop with the good guys, check it out today. And I want to thank all of you for your support. Infowarsstore.com, Infowarsstore.com. We have high-quality survival, storable food from the folks at My Patriot Supply. It's all there, a huge market center, and a, a lot of it made in America or in Canada. Uh, and we also get stuff from Mexico, from the Chiapas folks. A lot of great things. Infowarsstore.com or 888-253-3139.
We're on the march.